Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be getting it all done. I had a lot of things on my to-do list this day and thought I would bring you along in hopes of motivating you to have a productive day too. We've got some yard work, some baking, organizing, cleaning, and some inviting to do. And I'll give you a little sneak peek at the theme of our gender reveal. So let's get to it. So to start, we have my little succulents here that I have in the kitchen, and this one little, I don't know what to call it, a branch, has gotten so long. So I decided to soak some of the little sprouts that are coming out of it in water so that they can root up. And my hope is that I can trim this and put it in this cute little basket and have like a new little succulent garden in here. So as I was planting this little guy, I decided to break off some of the little leaves and I'm poking holes in the saran wrap with a little toothpick and we're going to see if any of these guys can propagate so I can have more succulent plants just like this one. I think it's really pretty, it just got a little too big for my liking in the kitchen. But I'm really liking this guy in the little basket. I think it looks really cute just how it's set up and I will add more succulents in. I'm hoping it doesn't die because I cut it off and replanted it, but we'll see. But keeping with the whole planting yard work theme, I grew a little tree from a mango seed. I was soaking the seed in water and it finally sprouted and I just kind of felt like this was the time to replant it. So I am grabbing some of my parents' compost this actually isn't as composty as I'd like it to be, so I went to a different bucket and we can see the worms in here. It's really healthy soil, so hopefully it will be great for this little mango seed. And one thing that I thought was extra interesting was that the roots of this little tree actually separated from the mango seed, and we'll see that in just a sec. So my mango seed is planted and here is a little update on my carrots that I've planted a long time ago. I gave you a little short update earlier, but they are looking pretty good. Just wanted to water them and hopefully they will yield lots of seeds for me to plant and get lots of carrots. But that wraps up our little yard work section. Moving on, I thought I would give this new recipe a try. It's actually 
a modification of an easy peanut butter cookie recipe that I saw on TikTok. It is a cup of white sugar, a cup of what would be peanut butter, I'm doing Biscoff, and then one egg. And we just mix it all together. But I have my little helper here and I think she had fun. several times it hurts to admit that we're no different i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm better with than without you oh So I ate one of these shortly after getting out of the oven and I thought it tasted just like the Biscoff. It was nice and chewy uh, just out of the oven, but later on it was a little crispy and crumbly. So I will probably modify them in the future to make them more of like a chewy cookie because I know they already sell Biscoff cookies that are, you know, crunchy and crumbly. So why am I going through the hassle to turn it back into that cookie. So anyways, just a little warning. If you try that for yourself, they're not like super doughy. But once the baking was done, and I think Aubrey is sleeping at this point, I decided to start to organize or refresh our pantry. It has gotten a little out of hand, so it just needed some tender loving care. And I hope you guys like the end result. Every time, whatever it is, it It ain't hard to forgive You know what it's like That's why I'm better with than without you By this time I was getting a little tired, <laughs> but I wanted to get this done. Aubrey was still asleep at this point and our bathroom needed a refresh as well.
But finally, we are on to my little gender reveal invite. So this is something that I designed myself. I came up with the theme myself, and I'm excited to share more info in a future video. But after finalizing our little invite, I sent this out to our family members so that they know when and where to show up if they want to find out if we are having a little girl or boy. I'm really proud of this little creation, and I'm excited to show you guys our reveal in the coming month ish so stay tuned for that but i'd like to thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Woohoo! you've made it to the end of the video if you didn't know already every monday and friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel and since us moms have to do it all that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.